name is Paige. I'm a 35-year-old stay-at-home mom. Right now, I live with my husband, Mitsuru, and our 5-year-old daughter, Panami. We have a simple and peaceful daily life. But my only worry is that I'm really bad at cooking. Just the other day, my daughter said this to me. Hey, Mom! This is about today's bento, but you mixed up the sugar and salt again when making the tamagoyaki. What? I'm so sorry. You like your tamagoyaki sweet, right? It must have been way too salty for you. No, it's okay. During lunch, I swapped my tamagoyaki with my friend Satomi-chan. Wait, so Satomi-chan ate the tamagoyaki I made? That's right. So I got to eat the delicious sweet tamagoyaki her mom made. <laughs> you messed up again, Paige. But honestly, causing collateral damage outside the family is no laughing matter. Sounds like Satomi fell victim to your cooking. W wait a second. Victim is a bit dramatic. But still, Panami, I'm sorry. I'll make sure to apologize properly to Satomi-chan and her mom the next time I see them. It's really not good to cause trouble for people outside the family. So the next day, I apologized to Satomi and her mom when I picked Panami up from daycare. Satomi, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I heard my daughter made you eat the tamagoyaki I made. It must have been super salty, right? Yeah, it was pretty salty, but I actually like strong flavors, so it was perfect for me. But still, I'm sorry to make you eat something so bad. I'm really sorry to you too, Satomi's mom. Oh, you don't have to apologize for something like that. I don't know if this will make you feel better, but how do I put this? Paige, you're always making little mistakes, right? So mixing up the salt and sugar just sounded like something you would do and I couldn't even be mad. I'm glad to hear that, but you know, Panami was raving about how sweet and delicious your tamagoyaki was, Ikue-san. Oh my, Panami is quite the charmer. But actually, I used to be terrible at cooking too. Wait, really? I always heard that you make such elaborate and skillful bentos, so I just assumed you were a natural at cooking. Not at all. My mother-in-law was super picky about cooking. I mean, she was tough to deal with, but her cooking skills were seriously amazing, and I had to admit how good her food was. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't really get along with my mother-in-law, but every time she scolded me about cooking, I told myself I was like getting free lessons, so I managed to push through it. Maybe you could try learning from your mother-in-law too, Paige. Huh, I see. Learning how to cook from my mother-in-law, huh? I've never thought about that before. Honestly, I've never pictured myself in the kitchen cooking side by side with her. If anything, I don't think my mother-in-law likes me much and I can already see her turning me down if I ask to cook together. Plus, whenever we visit our house, she always serves dishes made with ingredients I can't stand. She's clearly doing it on purpose, right? I feel like there's no way I could learn how to cook from someone like that. But at the same time, what other options do I have? I want to be a better cook, so I guess I don't really have a choice at this point. Hey, Mitsuru. I'm thinking of asking your mom to teach me how to cook. Huh? What's gotten into you? You've always said you'd rather avoid going to my parents' house. Well, yeah, I don't really want to go. It's just... Your mom always asks me what foods I hate, and then she makes me eat them, so it's not that I actually dislike her. Uh, but still, I can think of a million ways this could go wrong. I agree with mom, though. Grandma's cooking is delicious. If mom's cooking starts tasting more like grandma's, it'll be a win for everyone. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. All right, I'll call my parents and let them know we'll visit them this weekend. Okay. Yay! I'm excited to see Grandma again. It's been so long! I wasn't exactly thrilled about it, but I have to do this for the sake of my family. So, a week later, we made our way to my in-laws' place for the first time. I was feeling a bit nervous. Oh my, it's been so long, Bonami. You've grown so much. I'm so happy to see you. Grandma, long time no see. Thanks for having us. Oh, you're such a polite and well-behaved girl. Of course, you're my granddaughter after all. Hard to believe you're the child of, well, you know who? You must take after her dad. Oh, there it is. I've always hated coming here because she attacks me passive-aggressively. Sorry about the last-minute visit. 
Oh, don't worry about that. But I made dinner using just the ingredients I had in the house today, so I'm not sure if it'll uh, suit your taste. But don't worry, there's plenty of seconds, so make sure you eat until you're full. Thank you. Wow, this looks delicious. So we're having Chinese food tonight, huh? The meal my mother-in-law had prepared was a Chinese shrimp chili, sweet and sour pork, mapo tofu, and fried rice. The fact that she made so many dishes on her own and that they all tasted so good left me speechless. It was truly delicious. I was overwhelmed with emotion thinking how lucky I was. But just as I was enjoying the moment, my mother-in-law launched into another one of her attacks at me. So, by the way, Paige, are there any foods that you uh, don't like? Huh? Foods that I don't like? Ugh, oh, here we go again. She always tries to figure out what foods I hate. This is exactly why I dread coming to this house. As I was thinking this, Panami suddenly spoke up. I know what food Mom doesn't like. Wait, what? N no You absolutely cannot tell her what foods I don't like, Panami! Huh? Really? Well, how about you tell Grandma what foods your mom doesn't like? Hmm, I don't know if I should, though. Come on, Panami, tell me. Tell me, tell me, please! God, how is she not embarrassed of herself? Using her own granddaughter to find out what I hate? How has she come up with this stuff? Um, so Mom's least favorite foods are... Yes, yes, go ahead and say it. I felt guilty about making my daughter reveal my least favorite foods. So I decided to confess myself. Uh, well, I don't like mushrooms and bell peppers. Oh, mushrooms and bell peppers, huh? Finally, you admit it. Mushroom and bell peppers, got it. I'll remember that. With a huge grin on her face, my mother-in-law seemed to be absolutely delighted to confirm my dislikes. I couldn't understand how someone could make such a mean-spirited face. Then she said something I couldn't believe. Paige, you don't have any plans next week, right? I've got some dishes I want you all to try, so you must come over next week, too. Huh? Again? Next week? Well, I don't have any plans, but I don't want to intrude by visiting two weeks in a row, so it's fine. I'll just stay home. Oh, don't worry about it. You must come. Desperate to avoid next week's mushroom and bell pepper dinner party. I scrambled to check my planner, trying to make plans. But before I could come up with something, my husband and daughter spoke up. We don't have anything going on next week, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I've got plans to play at a friend's house the week after, but next week we're free. D damn it! You totally spilled the beans to my mother-in-law! I was trying so hard to put on a good show with my planner out and everything! Well, it's settled then. You're coming over again next week, right? Oh, I can't wait. I'll have the dessert and cake ready, Ponami. Cake? <gasps> Yay! Thank you, Grandma! The main reason I came to my in-laws' house was to learn how to cook. But now it feels like that's never going to happen! It's clear my mother-in-law is pouring all her energy into annoying me, and honestly, all I can do is sigh. But I really do want to become a good cook. Maybe I should give up on learning from my mother-in-law and just enroll in a cooking class instead. That day, my mood plummeted and I couldn't muster the motivation to do anything. When it came time to make dinner, I ended up making one mistake after another, which made everything even more disastrous. I'm not even a good cook to begin with, but the mistakes just made everything inedible. For now, I just had to switch my mindset and get through the dinner party at my mother-in-law's house next week. Before I knew it, the weekend had arrived and we headed over to the in-laws. I was hoping nothing would go wrong. But as soon as I stepped into the living room and saw the spread on the table, I was in shock. There was an unbelievable amount of mushroom and bell pepper dishes on the table, far more than I had imagined. Wh what is this? Is this some kind of prank? If I eat all these mushroom and bell peppers, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. Oh, Paige, welcome. I know you didn't like mushroom and bell peppers, but I really think you should overcome your dislikes. So today I made a bunch of dishes with mushrooms and bell peppers in them. Damn it! Why does she hate me so much? 
What have I done to deserve this? Anyway, please eat everything without leaving anything behind. If you can't finish everything, put the leftovers in a Tupperware and take them home. With that, my mother-in-law shot me a smug, annoying smile. <laughs> Thank you! Damn it! I'll cut ties with this annoying mother-in-law after I've finished eating everything. I muttered that in my mind. But that's when Panami said this to me with a concerned look on her face. Mom, aren't you going to eat? Let's sit down and eat together. I really appreciated Panami's concern. But facing a table filled only with dishes I hated was a kind of pain I never experienced in my life. However, I couldn't throw a tantrum here. I closed my eyes and slowly took a bite of the mushroom dish. So, what did you think of the mushroom dish? It's exquisite, right? Huh? What is this? It's so delicious! Whoa, I couldn't believe how delicious it was and found myself gobbling up the mushrooms I supposedly hated. My mother-in-law just stared at me in shock. Huh? P Paige? Have you gone crazy? I thought you hated mushrooms. After finally swallowing everything in my mouth, I shared my honest feelings with her, still reeling from the surprise. What are you talking about? This food is amazing! How did you make it? Huh? What is this? This bell pepper dish is really delicious too! I've lived for 35 years and didn't realize I was missing out on such a tasty vegetable! I honestly feel sorry for hating them. But anyway, everything is just so good! Thank you so much for the food, ma'am! I was so overwhelmed by the deliciousness of the food that I couldn't help but shed a tear. But seeing me like that, my mother-in-law suddenly started tearing up too? Huh? What's wrong? Well, I'm just so happy because you complimented my dish. And you're the first one to cry while eating my food, so it's just... This is all just a bit overwhelming for me. Is that so? You're an amazing cook and it's hard to believe that no one else has cried after eating one of your meals. Are they all taste deaf or something? Grandma's cooking is always delicious. It's a hundred times better than Mom's cooking. Hey, Panami, stop being rude! My husband just eats silently without saying anything. And Mitsuo isn't exactly the chatty type either, you know? I just felt lonely because I had confidence in my cooking, but no one would ever compliment it. I haven't heard anyone tell me that I was a good cook in years. Oh, is that so? Um, so I felt lonely and, well, I just... What are you trying to say? Um, I was envious of how happy you were and I thought it was unfair that only you got all the attention. So that's what this was. And, um, how should I put it? I ended up bothering you to get on your nerves and make your day worse. I'm really sorry. In that moment, I felt like I finally understood my mother-in-law's feelings. It must be so sad if no one ever praises the dishes she's lovingly and diligently prepared. That sadness and loneliness were directed at me. Actually, I want to learn how to cook for you, ma'am. I want to improve my cooking skills and make my family happy. I want to make food like Grandma too, Mommy! Right? I don't want to eat salty egg omelets anymore. Hey, you weren't supposed to say anything about that! And besides, I've already reflected on that mistake enough. You don't have to bring it up anymore. <laughs> I didn't know something like that happened. But anyway, from now on, I'll teach you the basics of cooking step by step. But don't think I'll go easy on you. Be prepared. If you try to run away, I won't forgive you. I won't run away. I'll do my best to cook like you, so please teach me. After that, I started visiting my mother-in-law's house three times a week to learn how to cook. Since I didn't have a solid foundation to begin with, it took a while to improve, but I'm really grateful that my mother-in-law has been dedicated to helping me get better. She's been teaching me everything from how to make dashi to every little detail, and I cannot thank her enough for being patient with me. She's definitely a tough instructor, though. Even though I'm inexperienced, we've grown close enough that I now invite my in-laws over for dinner once a month. Today is the day Grandpa and Grandma are supposed to visit, right? <gasps> I'm so excited to try Mom's cooking! Isn't it about time they arrive? Oh no, it's already this late! I have to hurry! 
Thank you for having us. Oh, Paige, did you make dinner for us again? Thank you. And is that simmer flatfish I smell? It looks great. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, but it took me so long to make just one dish, and I wanted to make a salad and some other things too, but I guess I ran out of time. <laughs> well then, shall I help out? Yeah. Yes, please. It's fun to watch Mom and Grandma cook together. But since Grandma's here today, I'm sure Mom won't mess up the food today. Hey, I'm always doing my best too. But it's true that with Grandma here, dinner will be ready soon. Let's all eat until we're full again today. <laughs> Thank you for watching. What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for more.